Two Swiss visionaries are making their dreams come true. They're the co-inventors of a solar-powered plane, and they plan to fly across the U.S., then around the world, powered only by the sun. 60 Minutes correspondent Bob Simon recently saw the aircraft in action. Solar impulse here, clear to proceed. Have a good flight. It looks like it's flown straight out of Jules Verne. It's so light, it weighs less than an SUV, and needs only 165 yards of runway to take off. compared to over a mile for a commercial jet. It has unnaturally long wings. Rather than flying, the plane seems to glide like a giant dragonfly. Audrey. The plane was yeah. created by Bertrand Picard and his business partner, André Borschberg. And if there ever was an odd couple, you're looking at them. André is a pilot and an engineer, but never worked on building an airplane. Until six years ago, Bertrand didn't even know how to fly one. He's a psychiatrist, an expert in hypnosis, and one of the most intense human beings we've ever met. We saw the plane take off and land last night. Never seen anything like it. An airplane like this doesn't exist anywhere else. And very recently it existed nowhere but in your imagination. Yeah, that's true. With us now, Bertrand Picard and André Borschberg. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I understand it was 10 years ago this week that you guys first discussed this kind of plane. For people who don't know that much about it, how does it work? It's an airplane that has the wingspan of a jumbo jet, but it is light like a small car. And this is how it can store energy from the solar power during the entire day in batteries to spend the night on the batteries, reach the next sunrise and continue. Is that a new technical development to be able to do that? Absolutely. That way? It's the first airplane ever who was able to fly day and night on solar power yeah. with absolutely no fuel. And Andre, why do you want to do it? Across the United States first, why? This, exactly, this spring we like to, uh, to fly from California to New York. We just brought the airplane in uh, Moffett, which is in the heart of uh, Silicon Valley, uh -huh. and in uh, two years we will uh, attempt to fly around the world. Is, is there any fallback? I mean, what happens if it doesn't work? Do you <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's just, your plan B? It's yeah. your plan you B. A I'm just a little worried about you guys. You know, if it doesn't work, is it since there's no fuel on board, is that correct? Yeah. There's a, there's a plan B, but I think there's a very thorough preparation. We okay. have a team on plan the ground B. which does a lot yeah. of work to make sure that the airplane flies and mm -hmm. is at sun every morning. But, but you but, have to understand that it's a uh, complete first. There's yeah. no benchmark. Yeah. It's a pioneering yeah. and they told you, you have was, to accept the risk of problems. And yeah. they told you when you went out on this mission that it was impossible to do this. Absolutely. When, yeah. yeah, when we uh, presented the project to sailplane manufacturers because we thought right. they could right. do a yeah. good job by building this airplane, they said they did not have the technology and for them it was impossible. But why did you think 10 years ago, guys, that you could do this? What did you know that the rest of us didn't? That you said, we can do it. Mm -hmm. Because both together, I think we can bring resources that a lot of people don't have. The two Andre, of you. Yeah, André is yeah. an engineer, he's an entrepreneur, <laughs> former jet fighter pilot. Uh -huh. yeah. I'm a medical doctor, but I come from a family of exploration. My grandfather was the first in the stratosphere. My father was the first in the deepest point in the ocean. Mm -hmm. So this tradition of exploration with the tradition of entrepreneurship, you know, it makes a relation where one plus one equals three. And I think <laughs> we've been able to find the solutions like that. And, and what's in it for you? Why do it? What do you expect to get out of it? We'd like to inspire people. I think the world is full of difficulties which are very difficult to be uh, solved. And we'd like to show that, for example, using technologies we can achieve uh, great success, we can save energy. Mm. And by inspiring people, by giving them the possibility also for them to achieve their dreams, that's maybe one way to I mean, the big problem with solar and, and uh, wind energy is being able to store it. I mean, this is a huge problem for uh, the world as they try to figure out alternative energy sources. That's a problem, absolutely, for a lot of applications. Yeah. Uh, but the, the way we have chosen is slightly different. We have saved energy. So instead of storing more, we use less. Ah. And there's something also which we could do everywhere. Mm -hmm. That's right. an important Good. message also yeah. for our world now. Bertrand, André, merci beaucoup. I love your accent. <laughs> I love your accent very, very much. And the jackets. Very nice. I like that. The yeah. jackets Good are, luck. Good 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 luck.